There are so many times with a complicated disease like chronic Lyme disease and co-infections that you have to take time and sit back and realize, look at what we're dealing with because there are so many different things. For me personally, I have a naturopath, I have a GI doctor, I have a Lyme literate, like, I mean, my naturopath is Lyme literate too, but a Lyme literate um, doctor. I have my anesthesiologist. I have my primary care doctor who helps a lot. Um, there are more, but, and then they're all doing different things that together are trying to help me get better, of course. But it's so difficult when you don't, you don't always know. A lot of times you don't know what is working. I take things directly for Lyme disease and co-infections like Bartonella and Babesia and then just because you take that doesn't mean that's helping the symptoms. It usually it makes it feel worse. Um, and that's just part of Lyme. So then you have your whatever medications for all your symptoms. And usually you can get that covered by insurance, like my seizures are a symptom. Um, also could be like a diagnosis, like epilepsy, but it's still a symptom of a bigger problem of autoimmune encephalitis and neurological Lyme disease. It's just, it's so confusing and you have so many different things and we're just like, I'm like sitting back and thinking of what are the priorities? Cause you always have to look at priorities. I've done lots of different treatments all throughout the years and some have been helpful and some have not. So you need to know when the time is to stop things. And you know, I did a couple sessions of stem cell therapy. Of course, that is extremely expensive and not covered by insurance. So that is also a factor because money does not grow on trees. And I did bioresonance therapy for quite some time we tried multiple trials of that and it did not help me at all and I didn't get all the glorious benefits that they had mentioned but I know it helped other people and it's a real thing it just wasn't for me so we had we just I saw another naturopath that did different things at a time I did the what is it called? Acupuncture and now we're just looking at everything at what is the most important, what is on the front burner? What can I not live without? Ketamine, really important. That shame, it's so expensive and not covered by insurance, but like that's something that has seriously brought quality into my life and not just it's allowed me to not just be existing, but to be living um, as much as I can. And luckily IVIG is covered. My B12 shots are covered, um, but not all IV things are covered. So it's very confusing. It's like I need to go down a list of all my supplements and see i know certain things help me like i know certain magnesium helps me a lot i know there are certain things that help balance my hormones because my hormones are all eh. but as much as i want to be try a lot of natural things those things aren't covered by insurance when i could just take see i'm gonna bring this up to my doctor see if i can take synthroid for hashimoto's because i know that goes hand in hand 
and maybe I can cut back on other things because that would be covered by insurance. It's so difficult because, you know, my family wants to do everything they can, but you can't do everything. And when you have so many things and you don't know what's doing what, what's something's counteracting with this, um, I can't take certain medications anywhere close to each other because it might, it stops the absorption of like glutathione and I'm so low in glutathione, that's why I need the IV of it because, you know, I used to do just oral glutathione like in a tube and I did that so long and it was a hundred dollars for a tube, like a thing of lotion, it was the size of and blood work after blood work back and my results never went higher it's like how much am I even absorbing of this stuff like obviously not much or anything so I'm just so glad I got my trusty port here to help me with that it's very confusing it's it can get very frustrating and upsetting because I mean I'm you just have to make choices and you know what's most important and it sucks because I should be able to get IV Lyme medicine and ketamine covered by insurance but even though ketamine has been used for like tons and tons of years for chronic pain and for pain it's not FDA approved for pain. It's only, it's like ridiculous. All of these things, like of course, ketamine and like all the things that are like super important that really affect me. It's exhausting. So I'm just trying to think like right now of what I need. I honestly feel like I could go off my seizure medications, obviously if I um, weaned off of them because of ketamine helping, but I don't know, at least I could go down lower, but money wise that doesn't make a difference because insurance is covering my seizure medicine. And of course, I do, but I don't want to be on, I only I don't want to be on so many drugs like I want to be on the least amount the less amount of, the least dose less blind can't talk the lowest dose possible because I don't want to just be giving 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 more is not always better so a lot of times people with chronic conditions and especially Lyme disease with the trouble of not having insurance they're the big major problems. You either, or you can have all these problems. You are misdiagnosed, so you get a lot worse. Have that. You have trouble finding who to go to for all these problems, you, or you live in an area that doesn't have Lyme, and you have trouble finding someone who treats Lyme and is a Lyme literate medical doctor or naturopath. And then you can get to the problem of, oh, none of this stuff is covered by insurance. This is so difficult. What do I do? So that truly inhibits people from be able, being able to get the treatment that they deserve. And it's really unfair. And life is unfair. But this is really unfair for Lyme patients, especially. And I hope that chronic Lyme disease will be recognized for what it truly is. More people can get treatment and that we don't have to worry so much about if we're gonna get treated and if we're gonna get better.